All right, welcome back. Today we have a 2014 Subaru Impreza. It's got a check engine light on. You also got what looks like the washer fluid light on and a little blinking indicator next to the P symbol now. The check engine light says it's on. Well, let's go a quick scan and see what's going on with this thing. Cylinder three, misfire detected. It is running very smoothly. Apparently it picked it up at one point or another. Now we know what it's gonna, now we know we got a three misfire. We're gonna clear this. What do we got pending? Got two codes here. P300, random cylinder misfire, and cylinder three, which is a P, hard to tell, 303. And we're gonna erase these now. And we're going to switch some uh, coil packs. So, before you go out and spend money on parts that you may not need, make sure the part that you want to replace is bad. The cylinder numbers on the Subaru engine are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, the offending coil 3 is that right there down there we are going to swap it with the coil in the front number one we'll write on them to make sure we know which one is which and then we're going to drive the car and then if the code follows the coil to a different location then we know that the coil is bad so we're going to remove the air cleaner over here this little clip here the cover to get a little more space and we'll come back in a second Let's push down on that clip and pull this off. I already have it loose already. With a pair of needle nose pliers, you could pinch the little tabs on the side of that to get this wire out of the way. Unhook the little hose here, and now the whole part of the air cleaner can come off. Get in there. Good time to change your air cleaner, too. Okay, with the air cleaner out of the way, we got a good shot here of it. That's number one. That's number three. We are just going to switch the two of them. We're going to mark them with a little magic marker to know which one was which. And then we're going to drive the car around again and see if the code returns in a different location. They are held on with a 10 millimeter bolt. And there's a little clip to unplug the wire on each one. They're all the same, so you can go in any uh, one of the cylinders on these cars. Okay, I got the bolts out. I marked them already, to, not to get them uh, confused. And then you could carefully pull the coils out. They could be a little stuck, so you have to use some force to get them out, but they do come out. And then you have a little plug over there. So you can see. Push it in and pull the plug off the coil. So I'm going to do it one hand. Yes. And we're going to swap it with the other one. Okay, everything's swapped. That doesn't take too long. Now, I love helping people fix their own cars, but I am going to ask for something in return. A like and a subscribe. That would help me out a lot. This way you could fix your own car and save some money. Thanks for watching. Okay, the car is idling smoothly, running nicely. We are going to wait to see if the light comes back on. Now, what caused it to go on in the first place? Moisture around one of the coils, a little sticky uh, fuel injector, hard to say. But before you spend any money, know what you're spending it on. Thanks again.